And I'm Chris. Welcome to Ask Skimmer Man. Today we're going to talk about mini belt skimmers that would fit in the bottom of your machine tool sump. And right here we have the Mighty Mini Oil Skimmer, which is a premium belt type. And the first thing you probably notice about this skimmer is that it's made out of stainless steel. You don't need stainless steel, but it sure makes the unit last longer and it's a lot easier to maintain. The skimmer itself has a removable trough for easy cleaning, plus the troughs are deep and wide to keep all the oil inside so it can exit the skimmer and not go back into your sump. The other nice feature about this are the wiper blades. These wiper blades clip to the outside trough of the trough right onto the sides. They have a unique contour so that they don't actually touch the inside of the trough anywhere. What does that mean? That means when oil comes up and is about to be wiped off by the blade, none of that oil is going to end up on your floor because the blade's not making contact with the trough itself. The unit also has a spring-loaded stabilizer bar to keep tension on the belt so it doesn't slip. And speaking of the belt, uh, we have several different types of belt materials. What you're seeing here is the elastomer belt. This would be used in most applications where you're skimming from a coolant. However, you might have an application that's a little warmer, in which case maybe you want to go to a stainless steel belt or a poly belt. We make all different kinds of belts that will definitely fit any type of application. So you have heard of the unit is this fan cool motor. It's a continuous duty, heavy duty motor. A lot of oil skimmers this size don't have it, and so they can only run it intermittently. And that's a really good point because when you put a cover on something, you can't see anything that's inside. A lot of these skimmers, if you take the cover off, you're going to find a very small motor that you might see in a small clock. Those motors are not going to last long. They're not going to stand up to heat. They're not going to stand up to steam. This motor will. It's important to notice that because of the fan, you need to have vents. Notice the back of the unit has a vent and the side of the unit has a vent, drawing in cool air from the atmosphere around the skimmer. That will make the motor last a heck of a lot longer than your standard non-ventilated type. One of the last features is a 24-hour timer. It can be set in 15-minute increments, so you can run it off and on and off as long as you'd like, or you can run it all the time. Yeah, the nice thing about that is if you know that you're going to be not running it during a shift, you can turn it on and have it run automatically. The operator doesn't have to do anything. It'll just come on by itself. Well, last but not least, we have an 8-foot cord. This might seem silly, but a long cord really comes in handy when you don't have to go fishing around for an extension cord somewhere and it can just plug right into an outlet that's not necessarily right next to the machine. Okay, that's it for now. I'm Tom. And I'm Chris. And we are Skimmerman. Skimmerman.